message and I'm trying to recount the story of our startup today. Uh, the point is that every startup starts with only one problem. How do you generate enough belief so that you can go to the next step? The first step is actually to think about an original idea which can survive and generate a business and there will be a lot of takers for it. You need to convince yourself first that it's a good idea. And the moment we have that conviction, four of us founders, we quit our jobs and we set about to create this whole thing from the very beginning. Now, that takes a bit of a work because you're not getting any money from anywhere else and you're paying the bills, uh, you're doing all the work, your money in the account keeps going down, you hold your nerve, you back your belief, you keep doing this work. Uh, and then after, after a while, maybe one or two customers actually resonate with your belief and then you're able to convince one of these guys. So that, that's the second key step, convincing one or two early adopters on your vision, on your technology, on your product. And once you have gotten that second step, you have gotten the belief of yourself and of course of your few early adopters and customers, you set about adding more people to your journey. So that's when you start to look for attracting talent and getting more few employees on board. Convincing them at the same time is not easy because there's not a steady flow of money from your customers, they're just, just few, one or two or three of them. So it's not a very healthy uh, living organization, so to speak of. And then we keep on doing that for a little bit more time. You get more customers, you get some more people to join you, the story builds up. Then you need to do the fourth convincing, which is the investors. People who would put in money into your account and you know, back your business so you can grow and take into multiple countries multiple geographies, uh, that's a very tough sell because you know there are lots of people with lots of innovation and they have all good ideas, right? But how do you stand out? How do you and your team and your execution stands out from all of the other people who are vying for the same attention from the investors is the fourth convincing which we need to do. And we did that pretty well. Uh, we got our rounds invested and we moved on. And then you have the final and most important conviction to generate is to actually have strategic partners come and work with you. People in different countries, different geographies who are strategic to your business and alliances which can actually take you much farther and you know, sweeter for your whole execution process. That's the fifth and last piece of conviction which you need to get uh, while doing all of the other things right. It's not been an easy journey. I, I can recount a couple of very, very hard days. I mean, I can recount some of the mornings I've woken up and felt like, well, it's gonna fall apart this evening. And the same night I go to sleep thinking that, you know what, we can really do amazingly well. And it's, it's a roller coaster which we all go through, all our people together, we go through this. The rejections hurt us, but we never get broken down. We continue to stand up and fight the next day. And if we're able to do that for a long period of time, if we not die so quickly, and do not get bogged down by the small rejections. You know what happens? You generate a culture which inculcates creating this belief as a part of its basic core DNA. And that's when you have an organization. And that's where we are at right now. We are at a juncture in which we are able to generate this belief in multiple countries. And we are able to work with hundreds of people in our organization with hundreds of different organizations around the world and we are benefiting them all. We've got these amazing investors backing us. It's, it's a movement now which we are seeing and it's amazing to be part of this movement. And we are extremely happy that this continues and this continues to grow and keep exciting us. And I hope that's how it's gonna remain for next couple of years so that we can achieve our destiny where we can become the most influential player in the garment tech space. That's one space which is still still open. I mean, there are not many players who are creating technologies for apparel, for garments, for the brands which we all love to wear their clothes for, but we can become that guy. You know, we can become that company which will be able to, you know, plan for everything that everybody in the world wears. And it's not very far. We could probably touch that milestone in the next couple of years. So it's a great journey and I hope it continues. But I also think that we got to keep working hard and generate this belief that we can do this thing. That's all about it. It's all about Threadsoft. Thank you very much.